This is a drill I created for one of my clients and it works an absolute treat. If you're struggling with this over the top move, by the end of this video, you will no longer be. It's a great concept, it's actually a fun concept. All I'm gonna say is, make sure you've got a little bit of space around you. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna take this position to the top of the backswing. We're gonna put the basket on here. We're gonna take the position to the top. What we're looking for you to do here on the downswing is allow the basket to fall behind you. Now, if you're allowing the basket to fall behind you, the shaft is shallowing. And if we're getting the shaft to shallow, that's the first part of being able to stop coming over the top. So, you know I've got two alignment sticks here. No, no reason for any other colors. Just place the basket on at the end. It feels a little bit strange to begin with. So we're gonna take it to the top. We're gonna bring the other hand down. And we're looking to really allow that basket to fall behind us and swing through. So it's a real feeling of that basket allowing to fall, whereas if you were to steepen the shaft and come over the top, look how that basket would never fall behind us. It would come onto your hands. So it's over-exaggerating a feeling, and I would do this all in a sequence to the top, allow a lower half to move first, basket behind us, and move through to target. That will give you a real good feeling of allowing the shaft to shallow and not steepen. So we just did a few reps of that, just really over exaggerating of trying to get that basket to fall by the right hand side. And you know what, he couldn't believe how over exaggerated it was, but actually when we put it on video, is when we did it with a club in our hand, replicated that same feeling, how neutral the swing is. You've got to think about it this way. Sometimes, because we've gone so biased one way, so for example, our bike wheel, if I grab this alignment stick here, and our bike wheel and the swing being too far to the left, anytime we want to get it back to neutral, we've probably got to feel it's excessively out to the right. So that feeling of being able to do that comes from shallowing the shaft, it comes from that whole move. So if we show you from down the line now, that whole feeling, what it would look like now with a club in our hand, would be like this. To the top, allow the basket to fall off, swing it through. Really over-exaggerate that move. Allow the basket to fall off, swing it through. Now, you'll notice here, guys, we're only halfway to telling the story. So please do stick around for this next bit because it is essentially the thing that brings it all together. It's the glue that binds your swing together. So we're learning that concept of feeling like we're letting the basket fall behind us. And guys, by the way, sorry to interrupt your learning right now, but if you are enjoying the content, please do consider hitting that big red subscribe button. That's that one just down there. And join the team and don't miss any any of the content by hitting that bell notification as well. And of course, if at any point you're enjoying all this content, I would really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button as well. So the final piece to this puzzle, as we're allowing that shaft to shallow, we've got to feel as though that face strengthens. Now, you might be asking, well, what is that face strengthening? What is that move? I feel it this way, you may feel it a slightly different way, but ultimately, what we're looking to feel is, as the shaft shallows, which is this motion right here, we're looking for the face to strengthen accordingly. Now, this allows us to keep the relationship nice and square. If we just shallow the shaft and swung through, but no manipulation, this face would point very much to the right. So what I'm gonna ask you to feel is here, as you throw the basket behind you, can you feel as though you point your logo of your glove to the ground? Basket off, logo to the ground, turn it through. So to the top, basket off, logo to the ground, turn it through. And I know that seems a little bit robotic, but remember, we're trying to train different fields. We're trying to over-exaggerate it. So then we hit one away, hopefully we start to see a bit of a draw. I'm gonna encourage you to over-exaggerate it, feel it, feel it, and then hit it away. Whoa, there we go. It's a little bit fady, but I can guarantee you, if you're a slicer of the golf ball, that is gonna be the complete opposite, and it's gonna really sort you out. Thanks so much for watching. Let's keep the comments coming. Let's help as many people improve their golf and enjoy the game we all love as much as possible. Thank you so much, and see you tomorrow.